Cancer, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for June, going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. If you don't want to sit through the shuffle section of the reading, you can always feel free to uh, jump ahead to the start of the reading. It should be timestamped, what well, it is timestamped, which is in the description. Um, so just click on that and that will bring you to the start of the reading. This section is really for those, again, to see me, who prefer to uh, see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, guys, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, let me just move that a bit, make sure that camera's not shaking. If I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there could be just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to take these in and I'll be back. So Cancer, let's start your reading. And of course, for those of you who don't know, uh, the centre cards representing just kind of the state of the connection. We've got the two main cards here, how you're both showing up behind the scenes, what you're both thinking and feeling. And then what happens next, where this moves to kind of next. OK, take whatever side resonates the most, guys. And picking up as this being your side, plus what you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. OK, there seems to be... Um, some form of epiphany or realization that's currently going on when it comes to this um, relationship, this connection, cancer. Uh, some form of wake up call or wake up or clarity about something, about um, something around this connection that wasn't seen before, that wasn't known before. I feel like maybe it, you know, we'll see because this person, I feel like maybe it, it, the what prevented this realization in the past maybe has due to this person over here but we'll get to that in a minute but yeah there seems to be some form of realization a wake up um some form of epiphany whether you recognize it or not i feel like that's the underlying message that's um going on when it comes to whatever's going on within this that's the kind of underlying message you're showing up as being supportive you know really supportive uh, to this person, supportive, uh, just understanding, patience as well, patient, um, could be directly towards this person or just that's your stance on things because there is this some, this, this maybe type of emotional maturity that you've got cancer. I mean, it, we've got the Queen of Cups, so that rep represents water sign. So yeah, this, um, you know, understanding, compassionate, patience, supportive type of stance that you've got here. And I feel like it's to do with where this person's at. It feels like they're kind of going through something in relation to something else outside of this. I feel like, um, you know, they're losing something or something's being left or they're being left in some way or, yeah, they're kind of being left in some way. That's the impression I, I'm kind of getting. And what, what they're thinking kind of makes sense in terms of what's going on there. But we'll get to that. Um, and, and you're being supportive in that. It's like you're trying to maybe be understanding, um, patient with this person. For some of you, it could be the case of, you know, that is as much as you might want more, which seeing your centre card, that kind of signifies that you do, but there is this awareness of you just use just, you know, feeling like the need to take that position or that stance in some way. Like I said, just going behind the scenes when it comes to this person, their thoughts about you. There is this um, element of them holding back in some way, keeping things to their self. I feel like that's definitely a reflection of just where they're at in terms of what's going on for them. This, you know, and based on where they're heading or where they're wanting to head within their thoughts, um, 
it kind of makes sense what 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 how they're showing up. But I feel like for some reason they're wanting to kind of keep you out out of it or that might not even be the right words to use, keeping you out of it or not privy to certain things or types of information that you know, just kind of keeping things to theirself, going through their thought process um themselves. Hmm. Yeah, because then we got that Hierophant card, which talks about also just knowledge, wisdom as well. Or even commitment, like I said, there is this. Um, let me clarify that some more because that's a bit confusing in terms of them. Let's see. Let me just. Yeah, do you see that? page of swords realization epiphany there's something about this um not I, I get i get this sense it's more about not wanting you to be privy to things because this person's on the verge of turning the page turn into a new chapter this realization that's going on towards this commitment higher knowledge higher wisdom but they are on the verge of wanting to come out on top when it comes to something um i feel like this is to do with this this three of cups here that i spoke about which is quite interesting in terms of where they're wanting to go to yeah they feel like that's going to be some form of solution to something to this person this person i feel like this person because you know based on their center card and how they're feeling which we'll get to in a minute this is not really kind of making sense so i feel like this is more about this three of cups this person maybe that's leaving or flying the nest outside of you that you're being supportive on or this thing um it's it's it, i feel like this is more about maybe control mm -mm. and even that word feels a bit off because it's not necessarily control, but it is. It's like, you know, I'm happy. Ha and this is just for example, I'm happy with you being there. I don't want you to be anything but that, even though I don't want to be with you, even though I'm not interested in you that, that, in that way. Yeah, and then we've got the Eight of Cups. Perfect. So there's something about them coming out on top, most definitely. So this changes the game in terms of, um, yeah, there's this acceptance of walking away from something. That, you know, it's maybe unfinished to a degree, not to say this person wants them back. Because it, it, just based on how they're thinking about you, that's not the case. It's not the case. They just still kind of go through the, um, the process of, you know, letting go of something. But that's where they want to get to. I'm, I'm glad that I saw that. Eight of Cups, if I'm honest with you. Cancer. Glad that I saw that. But there is this, at the same time, there is this um, going through this 360 in terms of their emotions. I feel like this person didn't have the time or the energy. And based on this, you know, where they're, they're, they're wanting to go, um, this makes sense. I feel like this person maybe didn't have the time previously or the mental space or capacity to really focus on this relationship or this connection that you have or even to even see it you know maybe this person missed that missed who you were in its entirety or who you both can be um not sure whether that yeah and there's that working on I'm not sure whether this is representing the person or their energy i'm going to clarify that though but what i do know is that there is this uh, change that they're wanting to move towards. So they, 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 there is this, their, their theme, their spread is about, there's a theme there. You know what the theme is, we've kind of, um, and let's see what you feel because based on just, like I said, not it's not so much your center card, but it's the, uh, the moon 
that I'm, I'm kind of being drawn towards, but we'll get to that in a minute. So I wanted to clarify this center card here. Yeah, I feel like this is representing maybe the other person going around the going down the wrong um, way. But uh, want, wanting to move towards this change, this change. But there is this solution in terms of what happens next to them. But we'll get into that after. Just moving on to you. There is a bit of uh, frustration, frustration, cancer. You are a bit frustrated with them. There's frustration there. However, and we'll get into that in a minute because we've got that what you're moving towards which is quite interesting but there is this frustration because the lack of stability the lack of um commitment the knight of wands is never really a stable energy yes there's a lot of passion a lot of excitement but it's not kind of stable it's not committed it's not grounded but you are moving into you know you're on the cusp of moving into this level of maybe feeling like you're going to get what it is that you want with that king there's something about this or something that you're seeing or will be on the verge of seeing this, um, you know, possibility of you getting what it is that you want and it being long term with the six of cups there and it being long term. <laughs> and that's where that's coming from. It's this, you know, getting on top of or getting. I hope you guys are seeing the cards. <laughs> I, do, I do hope. Let me make sure. Sorry if I've shut, shut that camera. Um, coming out on top. You know, you do want to come out on top. Yes, you're patient, understanding, but ultimately you want what you want, but you are taking it slow. Taking it slow, you know, you're being cautious, not cautious in the sense of, I'm not sure, but you know, you, want, you don't want to overwhelm this person as well. Um, you know, hesitant to maybe suggest anything based on where they're at. And that's only because of where they're at. You don't want to maybe overwhelm them. There's a recognition of, they're not being ready <laughs> but there is this contradiction cancer of you moving slowly but wanting to move fast wanting to rush things ahead because you're on the verge of the cusp of moving into this commitment space it's like i want a high commitment now but there is this lack of clarity around that or something around a lack of clarity for you or I, maybe that's to do with timing i feel like that's strongly to do with timing simply because you've got the king of cups sorry the king of pentacles there which gives you that, you know, that level of confidence or some level of confidence, or maybe that's a vision possibility. Yeah, this is not something you want to lose with the, uh, the five there. Lack of clarity, there's a lack of clarity. So it's like you're being open, not wanting to, but obviously there it's on the table of you, you may be losing this. And of course, um, birthing something new with this person. There's a lack of clarity around maybe which way it's going to go or at what point or when or time around timing. But what's coming up for you, where you're moving to, what's going to happen is this, this doing something different, taking a new path with that page. Taking a new path to what? And this is what happens next. Taking a new path to what? You know, they've got the the, um, the ace, which talks about solution, ideas. We'll see where this goes and moves to, what happens next. So part two should be showing up on the screen as we speak, guys. So click on that. If not, you can click on the Love and Singles playlist. That should also be on the screen as we speak. So you can indulge in more Love and Singles playlist for the month of June. See you guys in a bit.